On the ransomware front, in Q3 2021, we've certainly seen some developments. Even looking at ransomware prevention efforts that a lot of countries have taken, you know, looking at Europe, we saw the UK, Italy, France adjusting and kind of putting forward um, some of the ransomware prevention frameworks in place or even alerting systems, um, like in case of France. However, these efforts haven't really slowed down the ransomware attackers, although we are seeing a slight decrease in ransomware attacks in Q3 2021. The impact of those attacks is still widely felt. The regulatory landscape is likely to draw ransomware groups to uh, get away from opportunistic mass scale targeting to big game hunting. And we've seen that already in, you know, throughout 2020, even last quarter. Um, so it's likely that ransomware groups will continue to focus on very lucrative, very large enterprises as targets. And we've actually seen already some of that taking place. You know, we saw Conti really scaling down their operations. We're seeing some rebranding efforts continue. Um, we know uh, Double Paymer is now Grief, and there's all these different nomenclature changes even as part of that response to the measures that um, governments worldwide are taking against ransomware.